Whenever someone is diagnosed with bowel cancer, the most important question, the million dollar question, as I call it, is whether the, pay, whether the surgeon can remove the cancer with clear margins. Once that is done and achieved, then your surgeon will refer you to an oncologist to have a discussion around the role of adjuvant chemotherapy. But what is adjuvant chemotherapy? Adjuvant chemotherapy is chemotherapy that we give after an operation to reduce the risk of the cancer coming back. An oncologist, together with your surgeon, will review the histology of what was resected and will try to identify risk factors in the histology, such as T4 disease, poor differentiation, or most important, involved lymph nodes. And if those risk factors are present, that increases the risk of the cancer coming back in the future. People say, I had cancer in the past, can it come back? And you will say to me, where, where can it come back, Dr. Sultati? Where it could come back in your lungs or the liver, in that case, it could be incurable. That is why we try to estimate which are the tumors that are high risk to come back and subsequently, which are the patients that benefit from some additional treatment that we give to try and reduce the risk of the cancer coming back. We call this additional treatment adjuvant chemotherapy. So if there are a couple of cancerous cells lurking somewhere that the bare eye of the surgeon cannot see and remove, the chemotherapy will try to eliminate them. Now, adjuvant chemotherapy doesn't guarantee that the cancer will not come back, but it can reduce the risk of that happening significantly. What benefit you will get from the adjuvant chemotherapy depends on how many risk factors there are in the histology and what, what is the histological staging. Patients with lymph node positive disease usually are being offered chemotherapy uh, as adjuvant and uh, the benefit that this uh, chemotherapy will give um, is around 15 to 20% reduction in the risk of relapse for all patients with no positive disease. You may also be offered adjuvant chemotherapy if you have stage two disease, but with more, uh, with some risk factors such as uh, T4 disease or poor differentiation, in which case your benefit from chemotherapy is estimated to be uh, lower and it's around uh, 5%, three to 5%, and it's only for patients who have MSI normal, who have a specific um, DNA profile in their tumor. Now, uh, it is really important whenever you are discussing the benefit of adjuvant chemotherapy with your oncology consultant to also have a very thorough discussion around the risks and the benefits. So whether you should be offered adjuvant chemotherapy doesn't only depend on the histological characteristics of the cancer and the risk factors, but also on your fitness and accompanying comorbidities. And that is because the commonest type of uh, chemotherapy that we give as adjuvant for bowel cancer is CAPOX chemotherapy. And the, side, the risk of you developing any form of side effects from the treatment are uh, linked to the patient's performance status and comorbidities. So it's always advisable to uh, have a discussion with your consultant in regards to the benefits of adjuvant chemotherapy and the risks. We use adjuvant chemotherapy in two cohorts of patients. The first cohort is um, stage uh, B uh, bowel cancer, uh, where uh, we have a T3, T4 and zero disease. Uh, with risk factors such as poor differentiation, presentation with obstruction or perforation as an emergency, um, and uh, any T4 disease. Uh, in these patients, before we decide whether they're eligible for adjuvant chemotherapy, we perform a special test, uh, DNA test on the histology called MSI, and that is because if patients have a, a specific DNA change that we call microsatellite instability, uh, then their prognosis is really good and we don't offer adjuvant chemotherapy. Uh, but the rest of the patients, if their MSI is normal, uh, we discuss the role of adjuvant chemotherapy uh, for these patients with risk factors and stage 2 disease. We also offer adjuvant chemotherapy in all patients with stage C colorectal cancer, which is essentially all the patients that have positive lymph node disease. Um, in these patients, we discuss um, adjuvant chemotherapy, uh, if provided that the patients are fit and well to receive it. 
A common type of adjuvant chemotherapy that we use for bowel cancer is three months of capox chemotherapy. Um, the patient's performance status and comorbidities along with the stage can define whether they, they will require uh, three months of chemotherapy and what form of chemotherapy. You may be offered as well monotherapy with capecitabine or even folfox chemotherapy um, depending on your fitness and the stage of your disease. Um, there has been a recent very large uh, study demonstrating that three months of capox chemotherapy seems to be the optimal res uh, uh, regimen uh, on that setting, um, but it may be that your oncologist would recommend even six months of chemotherapy if they suggest monotherapy or if you have a very high risk uh, disease. Uh, the benefit that chemotherapy confers in patients with uh, uh, stage C disease with positive lymph nodes is 15 to 20 percent reduction in the risk of relapse. Uh, in uh, patients with uh, stage B disease who have risk factors but no involved lymph nodes, the benefit of adjuvant chemotherapy is smaller and it's usually in the range of 3 to 5 percent reduction in the risk of relapse. Chemotherapy is not an easy treatment. Before you commence the chemotherapy, usually uh, with uh, oxaliplatin and uh, fiber view, uh, you will be offered a DPD test by your oncologist, which is a blood test that enables us to see whether the enzyme that metabolizes the drugs in your liver works correctly. Uh, if uh, the enzyme doesn't work 100% correctly, then your oncologist will have to reduce the dose of the chemotherapy in order to avoid escalation of your side effects. Chemotherapy uh, with that combination usually has a 30 to 40% chance of side effects, such as um, allergic reactions, um, neuropathy, numbness and tingling in the fingertips. Uh, it can cause extreme sensitivity to the cold, so you should avoid eating cold things, drinking cold water, or touching cold things. Um, it can cause neutropenic sepsis, which is a life-threatening infection. Yeah, um, the fever you can cause uh, nausea, tiredness, diarrhea, uh, a painful rash in the hands and feet, very rarely a spasm in the heart, um, but that's usually in patients with pre-existing heart problems. And finally, the risk of a clot, thickening of the blood.